Hi everyone, it's Sonia here. So welcome to week two of my daily workout challenge. I mean, really, I don't have a name for it. So I'm just challenging myself to work out as much as possible, basically. So welcome to week two. So this is me actually at the end of the week. And um, I just want to say that what you're going to see in this video, it's not just about working out after all. It ended up being like a little bit of a journal of my week, some of the things that I did. And th the reason that I'm going to show it to you that way is because I want to show you how I work the exercise into my week. I want to show you also like the challenges that I had and how I got through them. So <laughs> here's the footage. So today's day nine. I didn't go to the gym yesterday. I was totally exhausted. Today I didn't go either. I know we're off to a good start. <laughs> but I am going for a walk. So Gunner is in the middle of exams and he's like totally burnt out and he's just, I don't know, it's just kind of a hey, why are you staying up till like all hours of the night? He'll literally keep me up till like one or two in the morning. So anyway, I decided that I really didn't feel like I was up to going to the gym today, but I decided that I'm just gonna go for a walk. So I'm gonna do something, to keep my commitment. I really love my neighborhood, even though my building's not the best. Look at these houses, they're so beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my God, like I don't get to live in one, but seriously, just being able to see them all the time makes me happy too. A lot of these houses have a little plaque on them that says heritage and then it'll say the date. And um, a lot of them, it's like 1870s, late 1870s, 1880s. And they're all different. They're so cool, look at this. Now, for some reason, this neighborhood turned into like a, like a crackhead neighborhood in the, maybe in the 90s. It, it was really bad at that time. See, this is actually a really nice building. It's built a bit later, you can tell by the stones. And this was full, full, full of crackheads. And it was owned by this old German guy. And, the situation got so bad that the, they couldn't get them out. They, they couldn't do anything to stop it. The police wouldn't do anything. The residents got so fed up that they went to the dealer's door. They went to his apartment and ripped the door off the hinges. And finally, having no solution, the owner uh, sold the building. I'll show you what's going on here on St. Catherine. It's like the bigger street. Okay, so this is the area that used to be just totally scummy. It was all dive bars here, just one after the other. And this is what's been happening in the last 10 years or so. Tons and tons of condo projects all the way down. Um, just full of con uh, condos. So we're getting really a different crowd in this neighborhood. And I think that my neighborhood is legit, like almost like a new Chinatown. We have Japanese grocery store. We have Korean grocery store. I love it. Oh my God, I make Asian food all the time. Um, we have right there, Korean restaurant, Bulgogi House. So many Asian restaurants here. They're all, tons of bubble tea, um, Indian also. We have like three Indian restaurants and countless uh, Chinese and whatever restaurants and a lot of, Asian grocery stores and Middle Eastern so my neighborhood it's it's pretty Asian I think and I love that though I love it so much variety always something new to try something to check out Gunner loves to go to the stores and like just try new foods oh yeah we have a big giant Asian supermarket we like to go there try out really exotic stuff I like living in Chinatown I like living in Chinatown I'm visiting my mother with this super coffee filter on my face. You, you know who I am though? You still recognize me, mom? Who am I? Got the juice. She's like so sleepy though. Here, mom. I Good? That's baking. Okay. Good dude. I just rearranged her flowers so they look nice. And that was the Mother's Day bouquet. Now it's a dried flower arrangement. My mother always loved flowers. She used to have huge gardens. And she did flower arrangements too. So that's why we like to keep lots of flowers in here. Catching up with my mom. I have lots of news. 
Mein, mein Sohn, der Gunnar, macht jetzt seine Prüfung in der Schule, weil das Jahr kommt zu Ende. Und dann geht er in ein Ferienlager für den Sommer. Schläfst du? Ja, schlummer. So gehen die Schlummern eher immer weiter, weiter, weiter. Ja, für den ganzen Sommer, für sechs oder sieben Wochen, sieben Wochen geht er ins Ferienlager. Dave hat some Covid hier in her home, so I, I didn't come in the last couple of weeks. Uh, because I had a flu, honestly, I didn't want to catch something back to back. So apparently my mother had Covid last week. It's been on the ward for a couple of weeks and she she caught it like after it had already been there for about a week and now she's recovered. Apparently she just had mild symptoms but they did include fever and nothing nothing more serious than that. Of course she has had four shots. So yeah, I mean she should be good for a while now. We shouldn't have to worry about COVID. At least. I told Gunnar I'd pick him up after his exam and I guess he needed extra time and I have been kicking around here in my car for like an hour. I could have taken a walk. I just realized actually this was a good opportunity to take a walk. Maybe I should do that. I'm taking a walk. I figure it counts for something. I might as well show you this neighborhood. This is uh, St. Henry. Griffin Town, Point St. Charles, St. Henry, Little Burgundy. These used to be the neighborhoods where all the um, the working class people were living, like uh, the factory workers and the people who worked at the railroad stations to uh, to load up the trains. Way down in the distance there, you can see that would have been one of the old factories. And um, then in the last 10 or so years, it started to go up really mobile, started to get expensive. Parts of St. Henry, now they're, they're totally gentrified. So this was the sort of Main Street commercial area. Um, and these are those kind of buildings where people would have their business downstairs. And then they would live upstairs. This is 1800s right here. You can tell by the kind of stones. I just love these, like look at the angle here at this storefront and there's like apartments. Maybe things are opening up again, but during the pandemic, this everything here just closed like one after the other. They just all shut down, boarded up. Maybe now things are going to be reopening. I don't know. Looks to me like a lot of stuff is still closed. See this part here, it, like I was telling you about them being gentrified. This part here is still not really gentrified and look at all boarded up. So right up this street, if you go down there, there's this place called the Fatal, which was, I guess, an old factory and it was actually named Fatal. Uh, maybe it was named after the owner or whatever, but it is now like kind of last stop for people before they become homeless. And they have like a little punk community there. Oh, well, Gunner is out of his exam. And I guess I had about, I don't know, 15, 20 minute walk, so. He's a frizz ball today. Mm. Look at this frizz. He's rocking his Jufro. Yes, my Jufro, my, uh, my dudes. Welcome to How to Jew 101. He apparently um, wanted to show someone what his hair looks like if he doesn't put smoothing products in it, so. We made sure to blow dry it without the special cream and this is what you get. He turns into a little sheep. Mm. Look at this fuzz. Mm. This is amazing stuff. So here is the Fatal, the infamous Fatal. You see how it actually says Fatal on the building, which sounds like fatal, which is appropriate because most of the people there seem to have a death wish, but it's the actual name of the building. And then there's an entrance around the side down there and there's like a courtyard and basically they it's like a really rough crowd in there there's the other side and there's like it's all rented out you know see it's a big huge thing big huge old factory 
goes all the way down for the courtyard on the other side and um, they they have deaths there all the time I mean people overdose they get murdered they off themselves it's like a really rough place we should leave <laughs> I had an appointment and while I was up there there was a huge thunderstorm with a weather warning severe weather warning from the government including tornado warning so I didn't go to the gym but I made some dinner hi I've got my camera look what I made looks good Indian food oh, oh great that's fantastic oh good I'm glad you're happy I was afraid you were going to complain it's a spicy ginger curry, yeah. and that's alu matar. Oh. Yeah, that's alu matar. Alu means potatoes in Hindi, and matar is pea. So that's alu matar, and this is the samosa, and then we have a little bit of naan bread. So there you go. How was your day? Okay. Yeah? You didn't get stuck in the rain, did you? No, I got home just in time. You know what Gunner did? Because I was out at my appointment and he called me and he told me he brought my plants in from the balcony, which is nice. But he brought in the one that has the pigeon in it and he brought the pigeon in the house. Yeah. That's crazy. I told him put it back out or I'm not taking you to that restaurant for your birthday because yeah. it's so disrespectful. I told him never bring the pigeon in the house. Yeah, no, that's bad enough. I know. On the balcony. Yeah, I know. They're nice, they're nice to look at and everything, but not to, not to have on your balcony because they, they're really messy. I know, but he's attached. It's like an extra pet now. Yeah, okay. We have a bird. Okay, it's it's after the fact. She has eggs that are probably close to hatching. It's. Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything about that. And uh, and now I found this. It's just hell no. Oh hell no. I am going to take this, and I'm going to chuck this egg. I'm sorry. You put it under this one. Oh come on. Come no. on, do it, do it, do it. No, I'm done. So, oh, you look so cute. Doesn't he look cute? He's got his hair long again. Yeah, I like that. Eh? Oh, you're so handsome. I've been doing videos about me trying to exercise, but it's turning out to be more just like stuff I do in my day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tours of the neighborhood. Yeah. You want to say anything? Hi, everybody. <laughs> God bless. I'm, I'm hungry and all that, so I'm going to eat some. Yep, I'm going to go eat too. Okay, bye. Oh my god, the storm is totally raging. What? Thunder and lightning. Look, Aaron put his monitor on the balcony, but he uh, he Aaronized it so it's like inside this thing so he can use it when he's out there. I hope it's okay. They said on the news that there could be a tornado or hail. Last time they gave a warning like that, nine people died in Ontario. Pretty green though, I look it makes everything grow like crazy. Day 11, I made it to the gym and my focus this day was core, meaning working on my back muscles and my abs. I've discovered this machine that works your core very specifically and I really like doing it. Day 12, of course I did my cardio. I like to do two different machines for cardio each time so I don't get bored. And then I did my legs. Boy, did I do my legs. I worked really hard. I even used the free weights. Lots of squats. Oh my God, no. I destroyed myself at the gym yesterday. I'm so sore. I'm not going today. It's Sunday and what a gorgeous day. I'm here in the park having a picture. I'm not going today. It's Sunday, and what a gorgeous day. I'm here in the park, having a picnic with my church. Out in Longay, and what a really, really beautiful day. I'm so grateful. I feel so blessed right now. This is such a nice thing. Wow, Gunner, no, it sounds great. Oh my god, it's the ring. They spent five million dollars on that thing. Is it 
Valerie Plant? Yeah, Valerie Plant, our crazy mayor, decided... What's wrong with her? I don't know, man. It's like a portal to hell or something? It's a portal, yeah. It's got to be. I mean, why would they spend $5 million on it? Does anybody understand what is the purpose or significance of this ring? If you do, please let me know in the comments. It's a beautiful day. Gorgeous blue sky. So nice. I love summer. Um, as far as exercise goes... I'm extremely tired today. That's true. I'm not really tired, more like fatigued or maybe both. So I have this Keto Elevate, which gives me a little extra energy boost. I think I'm going to take a hit of this, make myself a coffee, put a hit of this in the coffee. That's probably going to fuel me to get my butt down at the gym. Just put the scoop in your coffee and look at this. Look how it dissolves. Look how creamy it is. And it tastes delicious. It doesn't taste like soap or anything. I mean, for MCT oil powder into a cold drink, look at that, dissolved. <sighs> Tastes like gourmet. Mm. I was so tired this morning and I took my keto powder and I got a nice burst of energy. I went to the gym. I did um, like shoulders, lats, upper back, that kind of thing. And um, I'm so encouraged right now because I went today doing my arms. I'm like, oh my God, my muscles are coming back. <sighs> Six weeks now. And I've been doing, taking it really easy and just building it up little by little. And now I'm starting to see some results. So. <sighs> Motivating. Okay, so there was my week. So I took two walks. And I went to the gym three times and I had two days of rest. I'm starting to kind of develop a bit of a routine with what I do in the gym. Um, it seems like what I'm moving towards is one day for core, which by the way, it's very important to me because having better core strength is helping me have more stamina for things outside of the gym, like just doing dishes. I mean, you, you saw a video I did a while ago where I had to put a corset on because I get a lot of muscle strain if I have to stand up or sit. So I finally decided, you know, I'm really going to give it my best. I'm going to work on my core. So I have one day for core, one day for upper body, and one day for lower body. And like I said, I used the free weight. So I had done six weeks of very light exercise just to get started. No, four weeks. And then there was last week where I, I started to push myself a little bit more. And this was the first week where I went back to the free weights, which I'm actually really happy about. I used to do a lot of gym and a lot of free weights, and I used to enjoy it a lot. And I was kind of sad that I wasn't doing that anymore. And I was so deconditioned that I really just couldn't go back to the barbells. I had to start with the little easy things on the Nautilus. But now I'm back to the barbells. <laughs> and I was sore after, let me tell you. So core, upper body, and then the, the third one is lower body. And... Two walks and then two days of rest because after a really hard workout at the gym, I feel like the next day my body needs a rest. And I know that it, it actually really does need that to repair the muscles so that they can grow. Now, as for results, I seem to have lost some weight. So I had told you that I had gained five pounds that I didn't know where it came from and I didn't know where it was. Um, well, I have lost two of those. So I'm back to like 149.5. And I'm going to show you my before and after pictures. I was actually really surprised when I looked at them that you can actually see results. Um, I just look more toned on the whole. Basically just everywhere. I just look like a little bit tightened up. And you can see that from the side. Like my stomach looks more toned. I didn't think it was even possible, but I guess it, it is. And my favorite part is my butt looks more toned. And actually, my butt looks bigger. And I think that maybe some of that weight gain was muscle. Because my thighs, if you notice, my thighs look a bit bigger. And so does my butt. I think I might have put some muscle on my lower body. Yay! So, I mean, I'm really encouraged at this point. I think I'm starting to get results. And I'm going to keep going. And I'll let you know how, how it goes. I, I plan to do this every week and we'll see what happens. And I'm hoping that it encourages you to just start with something, you know. 
Um, I had three years of homeschooling and two years of lockdowns and pandemic and I really, I just didn't exercise for such a long time. But once you get back into it, after you get over a bit of a hump, you seem to get some momentum. Now, I don't want to jinx myself, but so far that's been my experience. So I'm going to keep you posted and thank you for joining me on my journey. Let me know how it's going for you. And oh yes, if you want to check out the link for the Keto Elevate, I'll leave that below. That's what I'm using to give me some boost energy before I go to the gym. And um, thanks for joining me in the chat. Thanks for your support on Patreon. And thanks for listening to me. And I'll see you next time.